My name is Nisha Thompson. I'm from Datameet, and today we're going to convert PDFs to Excel. As you can see here, we have a PDF with data in it, and the first thing we want to determine is if the PDF is a text PDF or a image PDF. A text PDF is converted from a digital format immediately. And an image PDF is from an image scanned into a, a digital format. And how you usually tell a text from an image PDF is you can highlight words in the PDF fairly cleanly. And also the search function works in this PDF. So when you type a word into search, it will find it inside the PDF. Since this is a text PDF and it's pretty clean, we are going to use Tabula to convert the data. If you go to your browser and go to tabula.technology, it will take you to its home page. Go ahead and click download for either Windows or Mac and it will download a file. Tabula is an offline tool, but you open it in your browser. So once it's downloaded, you open a local instance of Tabula. Go to localhost colon 8080, and then it will take you to a homepage where you can upload your PDF. So how you upload your PDF is you uh, hit browse, and then select your PDF and import it. This is the home page, so all your PDFs are stored here. After you've uploaded your PDF, we are ready to export the data. So go to export data and it will take you to a screen where you can see the PDF inside your browser. On the left hand side is navigation so you can see all the pages of the PDF. As you can see there's many tables in this PDF. We only want this large table in the middle. We don't care too much about these smaller tables on top or at the bottom. So the tool is pretty intuitive. First, we want to highlight the table on the first page. You uh, just drag your mouse across the table. On the lower right of the table, you will see a button pop up called repeat this selection. Since this is a multi-page PDF, we want to click this. The pink box will repeat itself across every page on the PDF. As we scroll down, you'll see the repeated selection. And you just want to go and edit the highlight as you go through the PDF to make sure it gets the entire table. And you don't want to put the box right on top of the lines of your table because you want to give the program a little bit of space to when it converts, it doesn't lose any characters. So now that we've highlighted all the table that we want, we can preview and export extracted data. So click the button. And this will take a few minutes depending on the size of the area. So when the data is extracted, the rows and columns look a little wonky, they're very wide. You can then pick to extract the data in a different way. So just click on the lattice method. So when you click the button for lattice, it will take a few minutes and then reconvert the data. As you can see now, the data is a little cleaner. The table looks a little bit more like the table in the PDF. It's still a little wonky from the conversion and because it was a multiple page PDF, but it's looking pretty good. I'm ready to export this data into CSV. Now next to the export button in the top, you can see that you can pick multiple formats. Uh, we are happy with CSV, so we're gonna click that and then export. As you can see from the data, there seems to be a little need for cleanup. So in the next video, we're going to cover cleaning up in spreadsheets.